Welcome to another episode of the Quick and Convo segment. I'm going to have the distinct pleasure of having a friend of mine in the Quick Corner with me. This is someone who's been my friend for... Okay, I won't date myself. But needless to say, we were roomies in university. You'll see her bio right after this. And I'm sure you'll want to join us in the quick call. So see you in a bit. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Quip and Convo segment, Jerry. Thank you very much, Adat. Good to be here. Yes, I'm glad I got you here. I'm so happy. <laughs> Finally, yeah. Um, so today we're going to be discussing one of the quips in one of my books. I know you have more than one of my books, but you know, um, you decided that you're going to read from a particular book. So why don't yeah. you take it away from here? Tell us. Okay. Right, so I'm reading from the twins, teens, and twenties. Okay. Okay, book. so from this this book, right? From that one. Yes. Okay. From the Thank you. So the quip that I chose is number 27. Okay. Oh, and okay. <laughs> go ahead and read. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. It says, if you try to be everything to everyone, you will be no one to yourself. Yeah. Yes. So, why this quip? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Okay. So, <laughs> so this quip just reminds me to slow down because sometimes if I get a bit overwhelmed, I yeah. need to remember that I can't be everything to everyone. And um, and also the other way around because sometimes I think about it, it's the same thing. If I am trying to be everything to myself then I would be of no use to others as well. Mm. So it's like a balancing act. Yeah. So it just yeah. reminds me to just slow down, take stock, and just, you know, make sure that I'm balanced. Nice. So yeah. that's why. Okay. And, you know, as you were talking, as like, Jerry, we're talking about a book for tweens, teens, and twenties. And this is your personal takeaway. <laughs> I know, because I, I use that book for my um, goddaughter, because yeah. um, she's 16. Yeah. So we try and catch up every week and have a chat 15 to 30 minutes. Yeah. So I, when I sometimes I just say, pick a number. We just do random numbers. You know? Ooh. So that's why I kind of have, you know, so I'm more into this book because I do that with her. Nice. And we just discuss our take or whatever quick we decide to talk about. Oh, well, that's a great idea. So I'm sure some of our viewers will be like, oh, Jerry, you just gave me an idea. <laughs> Because it's hard to know what to discuss with them sometimes, you know, when you're, when you're discussing that age group. So, uh, yeah, that's true. Group, you know, something to talk about. So you talked about school and talked about the activities and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, you have adult children. Mm -hmm. How do you break that down for them to understand at their age? You know, if I just think about that particular quip, trying to be everything to everyone, and then eventually you're no one to yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. um, at least I know that with my own adult children, sometimes you're saying things and it's as if it's just flying over their heads and you're like. <laughs> I, I know it's difficult because it depends on what stage of life you're in. Mm -hmm. um, so um, the, the stage of life that I'm in, I have, like you say, I have adult children, but at least one of them has some special needs. So he needs more of my attention, even though he's in his twenties. Yes. So I'm more involved in his life. Then at the moment, again, because of the state of life I'm in, I have an elderly parent who lives with me. So I'm involved in her life. Yes. You know, I am married, I have my husband and we're involved in our lives. And then there's me. So there's different, you know, angles and different things I need to think about. Mm -hmm. For them, I think, you know, um, they will just think, um, well, yeah, if, if I'm everything to everyone, I can't be anything to myself. 
Um, but I think I'm finding with them, at least for my adult children, because they're boys, I don't know if it's just a boy thing, but I don't think it's very, how will I say it? I think it's, it's not, it's easier for them not to fall into that trap. I think what I'm trying to get with them is the reverse, that they're not everything to themselves and nothing to others. <laughs> So that, that's the challenge that I'm having with them to keep reminding them, you know what? It's not all about you. It's not all about you. <laughs> the other that sounds like a conversation I've had in my home. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's the way, that's that's you know, that's the angle with them right now. Not too worried about oh everything to everyone. No, no, no. I'm still trying to get them to begin to think about every other person as well. Well, thank you for sharing. And that is so true because, like you said, that's the reverse of that quip. And I'm really glad that I got you in the quip and convo segment because I didn't even see the flip mm -hmm. of that. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you for spending thank time with you. me. I know I took you out of your comfort zone, but you know I love you, so. <laughs> I know you do, and I'm glad you did. <laughs> I'm glad you did. Thank you so much for having me. Thank, thank you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Right. You're welcome. Let's talk soon. Yes, we should. Okay. See you around. Bye. Bye now. I enjoyed my conversation with Jerry. Yes, I'm sure you saw that I did. And it's interesting how she saw the flip side of that quip. Who knew? Well, Jerry, thanks for picking up on that and sharing. If you want, you can also get autographed copies of my books and Use them the way Jerry mentioned. She uses them for conversations. There'll be information below this video on how you can get autographed copies. Until we see you again in the quick corner, you take care and remember that you can't afford to be everything, everyone, and nothing to yourself. See you again soon. Bye now. <laughs>